Hello everybody, welcome to the final round three match of the play-ins. We've got manager one here uh, in the blue with Orcs, which is Mad Jake, uh, versus Dion Lord, who has the lizard men in. Dion Lord is doing really well on tabletop with Orcs, I'm pretty sure. And uh, but he's gone lizard men here because why wouldn't you go lizard men? Because they're just better than Orcs. But there you go. Um, that's my opinion. I would never have. I would have never considered orcs just because lizards are better, basically. So uh, Dion has gone the standard six lizards uh, with like six swords with block. He's gone for the apple. Um, I mean, everyone goes for the apple and two rerolls, right? And then it's just whether they go. Well, not everyone actually, but usually people go for the apple and two rerolls. Yeah, they don't actually. They always go for at least two rerolls. And then you've got the chameleon skink for seventy the apple for 50 and then you've got a normal skink for 60 so you could go two normal skinks and not have an apple or you could go a chameleon skink and an apple or you could go a third reroll and an apple so he's gone for the chameleon skink which does help with like one and two turns makes him a little better um so there you go that's a bit too much about the lizards but there you go and uh, the orcs here we've got a couple of guard biggins a block biggin uh, tackler and then a mighty blow. I really don't like the mighty blow blitzer, but you know, people do it. A guard blitzer, he's got a goblin to go with a troll and 12 players total. Surprising, he's fielding the uh goblin on offense, in my opinion. I'd rather just have it as a uh, you know, one turn thing. I don't think you really want to use it unless maybe he's thinking of fouling, but um, I'm sure that's just because of the way the points worked out. And only three re rolls and no apple. I say only three rolls. Three rolls is fine, but no apple. <laughs> wow, is that true? <laughs> well, Olivia Delight might just be the luckiest man in Blood Bowl. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, Sorka. That is pretty amazing. Wow. Imagine making a Skaven team, right? Which isn't even good, by the way. I know I know Olivier Dulac, you know, likes them, right? He mostly plays Skaven on tabletop, so like he's got that comfort level. But they're not the best team, right? Same way as me, right? Like I chose dwarves that dwarves aren't the best team. Uh, but I could have been lucky and got a good matchups every time. Uh, which you know I kinda did right, I got Underworld and then I got Pro Elves. So I did get two semi favourable matchups. But uh, to, to do Skaven where and get the best possible matchup probably in the entire tournament three times in a row is, is pretty amazing. Um, I like not. This was before NAF when I won though, Steve. This was when everybody was terrible and I was like 14. And you know, like everyone I was playing was absolute trash, so I was just slaughtering them because you know, gutter runners are pretty good when when your opponents can't play blood ball at all. <laughs> you know, what's good about the chameleon skink? Um, it has on the ball. Okay, look, I can pause. I can pause. There's a big cas there. Uh, KO even big removal. Uh, the chameleon skink is actually worse, right, than a normal skink. It's movement seven instead of movement eight, but it's got on the ball for three squares of movement. So if you're trying a one turner. It's like two squares of movement faster, right? And if you're trying a two turner, it's one square of movement faster. And it's also got a better PA. So it's PA three plus instead of PA four plus. So it, it kind of is better if you're trying a one or a two turn. Marginally, marginally better. But you know, worth 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 it to have, right? Better than an assistant coach is. Like I think it does give you something on those really short drives. But ordinarily, it's, and it's also got like, you know, the, the other half of on the ball is pass block, which is very, very, very unlikely to be a factor. So there we go. So we've got some punches. I mean, punchy punchy is the order of the day, isn't it, in this game? There's not much to be said about that. Though for some reason there's two knocked over. There were three knocked over orcs, which makes you wonder how that happened. Because, you know, <laughs> he should have only had one hit, which was a blitz. But for some reason he's managed to get more. Maybe I should have paid attention. It's too late to rewind now. <laughs> but yeah, you probably shouldn't be letting multiple people get hit, should you? But Mad Jake did. Now he's cleared everybody, so there will just be one hit. Oh, so actually what he could have done here, could have done a nice move here. Look, this is a nice, I'll pause it. 
he obviously hasn't done it right. But what he could have done was he could have um, he could have put in two players here, and then he could have run up because with this guy being down, he could have blitzed the troll there, right? With like two assists, so it would have taken four players standing here, and then he could have blitzed it, and then if he powers it, chain this w one here for extra hits on him. So he could have done that. You know, and then obviously if it was just a push, you could have pushed him there and then got an extra hit. So that was a pretty nice blitz to do, honestly. I really quite like that play, but, you know, it's totally fine just to blitz a strength three dude and up score and not re-roll it because you've only got two re-rolls. And stun yourself, so... <laughs> and that kind of helped to protect the crocs a bit, right? So, like... That's why I was blitzing that guy. Protects the crocs a bit. Yeah, Troll is now all of a sudden being left alone. Maybe he should have put one of the crocs in first somewhere. Just beats him off. Don't want to give any free blocks. It's hard, right? Because you don't want to get, you don't want to give away free blocks, and you don't want to uh, get swamped by like the seven strong boys. It's really hard. Like lizards are so good on defense. He's remaining patient here as Dion Lord. You know, they don't have to pile in instantly. Some people do. And look at that, he chains away his crocs. So he's only getting hit once. Like, orcs are pretty slow still, aren't they? Especially with Mr. Throw holding the ball. So while, like, they're, uh, the big uns are good at, like, switching sides and stuff, they're still, like, ultimately, they're not a fast team, right? They're not great at uh, switching sides and stuff. Oh, wow. Um, yep, so he's given away an extra hit to make this GFI mighty blow hit. Gets the push. <laughs> mighty push. He could um, he could chain this, right? I don't know if he will or not. Because it, it is a 3 plus dodge. But, like, a skin could come in. 3... Four, five, six, seven, right? And then you could put a Saurus there and you could punch him onto him, onto him, out. And then you could blitz him with a Saurus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think that's quite a good play, but you know, he's already got everything in front. So he's just going to carry on being boring. <laughs> completely boring but like it's fine right like this kind of screen i don't think it's it's kind of not good enough these days with multiple reroll usage i don't think i really don't think this is good enough honestly and i think he should have done the chain but um i think he should have gone in this turn and, and got the defensive score honestly i would have liked to have seen i would have liked to have seen the going in for the defensive score but there you go he gets a Gets a KO, so that's two KO'd guarders now for the Orcs. Orcs are in a lot of trouble. So, like, you know, he didn't... Oh, my God, the troll's gone stupid again. So, like, I understand, like, not, you know, being conservative like this. It's totally understandable. And, you know, there's a good chance I'd do the same, right? Just because, like, it is safer... You don't want to do the, the plays that could lose you the game, like trying that dodge in with a skink and it failing. Right? Use the team reroll on that hit. And now he's just completely sidelined himself, and now he'll get the instant all in contact, I'm sure. Because this is just. This is just horrific for the Orcs now. Gets the crocs in. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is an absolute nightmare for them. Tags off those guys. And yeah, like now it's a nightmare. So, you know, like that's the thing, right? Those kind of, those kind of players, there's an element of space cadetting, isn't there? And trap sacks and stuff, all the things people have said. You know, like I quite like going for the ball out of the turn with the, the nice little chain, but... You know, just by remaining calm. And, you know, it helped getting that extra removal last turn, obviously. 
Without the extra removal, this isn't as good. And also without magic, just deciding to put his team on the sideline like that. Like, you know, he didn't have to do that. He could have just, you know, stayed where he was, right, and think, well, I'm not going to score this drive, probably. But uh, at least I'm not going to get scored on. He might have had to have made that adjustment to just try to not get scored on. But well, he's made two KOs this turn. And he's got a scoring threat. So maybe he will get the score. Does a 1D there to try and get the 2D on the ball. Wait, but follows? Oh no, it doesn't matter, he's just got to tag this guy out. So I think I think not tagging out is better, right? I think not following and then running around to 2D is better. So he could have just misclicked the follow because I've done that. But uh, I'm surely it's better to run around and blitz from this direction. And then you don't have to waste the skink tagging out there. Also, this guy should have probably come in and stood here, right, or here. Here or here, this I mean, I guess he might GFI at the end, especially if he punches him this way. Then maybe he could GFI, I don't know. But I, I prefer running around more. He does do the GFIs. Oh my god, stack them as well. Reroll's gone. Gets the ball <laughs> and casts himself on the GFI. <laughs> I mean, not the GFI, right? Because this is tackle. <laughs> but just think this guy that tagged, right, was closer. So if he hadn't tagged with this guy, he wouldn't have had to make that GFI. Interesting, isn't he? And he could have pushed him to the same square by blitzing him from the other direction. So I think this follow is definitely a mistake. Also, that he would have been in a better place. Oh, God, right. Pause it. You'd have actually been in a better place stood here, right, for the recovery. So even even then, you'd be like, this guy's gone one, two, three, four, five. You'd have had to go further around. So would have been really good to have uh, not followed. But you know, it could have, that could have just been a misclick, honestly. Super interesting for me. Hello. So now he manages to get him off the sideline. Mr. Throw does the pass. Oh my god. He's rolled a six on the animosity and then failed a pass, but it's gone right next to him. <laughs> but that's not good enough because uh, his troll has gone stupid like four times in a row or something stupid. So, yeah, no reroll, so he has to just mark him first, right? That looks a bit shit, but. You know, if he dubs skulls, he doesn't want him to just get a free touchdown. Does this Saurus go and pick it up and hand off? <laughs> no, he's just gonna try and. Oh, yeah, of course, tag him so he doesn't get him turned. And the activation being stupid didn't matter, right? Because he was already tagged out by the source. Okie dokie, good luck, fine man. <laughs> well, the orcs just already failed somehow. Okay. Yeah, the troll's horrendous. I really don't like trolls. Making all of the blocks here. He doesn't obviously think this has much got much chance of work in this touchdown. He gets the five plus, he gets the three plus. <laughs> and he scored. Dances it into the middle. Lovely bit of toxic showboating. So there you go, Dion Lord 1-0 up after. Mad Jake's offense. <laughs> Typical Lizards. Really bad KO rolls though. So he's only got eight players, so he'll definitely be trying for a quick score. 
Oh, I think he'll be definitely trying for a quick score. I think he should be trying for a quick score. Oh, no, I guess he's got nine, hasn't he? He had 12 players. He's got nine players. And he gets the free catch attempt and makes it, thanks to on the ball. Oh, he's dackering? No, he's not dackering. He's just... He's just leaving the ball back and just trying to fight with the big boys. Six versus 11. And he's got to eat the double skulls because he's only got two re-rolls. Oh boy, howdy. He's in a bit of a pickle. Oh my god, this troll! <laughs> Mad Jake's like, I really just wish I'd taken a lineman. <laughs> Really, really, really wish I'd just taken a line. I think the troll's rubbish. Just quietly. I guess, like, having a bit more extra strength versus lizards and stuff is okay, but then, again, why aren't you just lizards? <laughs> if you think that the tournament is likely to have lizards then you should be the one with lizards, <laughs> basically. Well, this is a nightmare now for Dion Lord, isn't it? Like, voluntarily splitting his team. Mad Jake, you can tell he plays pro He's he split the team. <laughs> and, uh... Flip me. Or just, just quietly. I mean, I don't know. It was Fash Finder said it all the time. Just quietly. <laughs> I don't even know what it means. <laughs> I guess it means, like, by the way, doesn't it? Is all it means. Oh my god! This fucking troll! <gasps> what on earth? And yeah, we've got the hit on the ball here. Wait, didn't follow? Okay, he's going to hit from over there. Wait. Okay, he's going to come from here. Double GFI to hit with tackle. Gets the pow. Puts him on the sideline. He can react with one blitzer. Oh, baby. That was a bit shit. Maybe he should have blocked with a blitzer and then... Uh, you know, just to... So if it was a push, he could punch him again. Because obviously the push means he can't collect the ball. Did he reroll the pickup there? Can't tell. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Well, it's not GG. I mean, you know, the lizards are 1-0 up. It looks like drive over, but these chaos can come back. And, you know, skinks can roll dice and Sauras can roll dice. It's not over. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Like, these skinks can just roll some three pluses. Or not. Ooh, surf the air uh, crocs. Surfing the crocs looks pretty good, doesn't it? He's not going for it. I quite like going for surfing the crocs. Could have also surfed the uh, surfed the chameleon skink at the same time if he wanted. I'm pretty sure he could have done because he's like pretty dominant over here, right? He's looking pretty dominant over here. There's only this uh, this skink, but I guess this is obviously safer, right? This is safer. A goblin carrier seems a terrible idea versus skinks. Gotta try his fall plus activation. Could have done that ages ago, right? He was always gonna go for it. There we go. Use a reroll again! Oh my, I hate these pickup rerolls. I hate them, man. You've got all of this time left. You're going, you have to win in overtime, right? The only way you win this game, as Mad Jake, is winning it in overtime. You've wasted two rerolls on pickups. That's terrible. Oh no, maybe maybe, no, maybe he didn't. Maybe one reroll was on the. Uh, he rerolled the GFI, didn't he? And he was he was on four though. 
But this one he rerolled the pickup. And then uh Pick up no he didn't reroll the other pickup. No. There was a catch failure. That's that's what made it look like he'd rerolled it. Okay. So he's rerolled that pickup. I don't think he should have rerolled that pickup, honestly. So only one, but I don't think he should have done. Yeah, the replays are rapid. <laughs> So turn 12. Because I don't even like having it on the goblin, right? I don't I don't even like having it on the goblin here anyway. So I'd be quite relieved that I'd failed to pick up if I was him. <laughs> you want the ball on a blitzer so that he can't get, you know, too deed easily. Can't, you know, it's not even that easy to one him, right? Unless it's with a... Saurus 5 plus dodge off. And now he's like realising he's got plenty of time. So he's just caging and he's not trying to, you know, run down and get mobbed by the snot goblins, snotlings, halfling skinks, that's what they're called. Skinks. <laughs> it makes a 3D here, so Dion Lord maybe. You know, just content with giving up the drive. Eats the dub skulls again. <laughs> Man, I really hate that pickup reroll so much from Mad J. I can't even believe how much I hate that pickup reroll. I think you blitz this this Saurus right, even though you've got two strength fours on him. Just because this way you get the blitz with block. Good job he made it 3D as he rolls two skulls. Oh no, he blitzes this one. Blitz the skink. Arkai. And with them both being stuns, he can cage in this very strange cock and balls cage. And the three plus in would be through tackle, so yeah, it just blitzes and bases with the crocs. Another, there's been loads of AV breaks from both sides. Ooh, I think he should have all paled, I don't know. I guess the payoff to dodging is like much bigger than just a block. But even then, if you just push him, if you just push him away, then he might fail his uh, activation. So this time he's got the better ordering of activating the troll and goes for the handoff, and then blitzes a skink. I mean, these blockless blocks are super scary now that he's rerolls. Or, you know, severely depleted. Not gone. Really nice to bring the uh, troll back to somewhat relevancy. Maybe he should have been one square back here. If he's one square back, he's in a full cage now. It's way better to be one square back. And these two could have been in front. I mean, this protects against the... Uh, Skinks can only go pill. Doesn't kill the goblin. It's gonna three D him with a ball, I guess. Lovely that he ends up five away as well. So even if he gets uphill pushed, he still doesn't have to cheat by anything. Oh, 
Not sure it's worth. Mm, I guess it is. Yeah, you don't really want the crocs coming in, do you? Maybe you should have let the crocs hit the uh, goblin and try to dodge the uh, tackle away, or just leave, left him on the floor. Because getting your tackle killed by the crocs is a pretty bad outcome. Goes for the uphill. Pals himself. I guess it was worth it, right? One in nine to stop the skull. Got a 3D skink first. Didn't need this. That was terrible. <laughs> He's got guard, right? This guy did nothing. This guy could have been assisting this block. Okay, I got it. Oh, this 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 black orc could have now been blitzing on 3D, right? There we go, going over time. Both sides have been scored on the, on their offense. The Saurus Steers KO'd. And the Orcs win the toss and choose to go on offense despite it not working out at all last time. <laughs> Oh yes, I should have said he's got. I didn't say this. I said this at the start of the stream, but not the start of the the YouTube video. This is like the ultimate anti blitz setup, right? Uh, lizard men can do this very easily, better than anyone else, really, because they've got seven. The seven strong boys can like take all of these slots and be, you know, all strength four or five, and then with the, all the skinks fully protected. But I mean, this is the absolute complete best anti blitz setup in the game. Not as good against solid defense, but it's all right, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> well. He's got to make a blockless block. And it's a 1D, did he know that? He should have made the 2D first, obviously. <laughs> Oh dear, bit of chalice nerves maybe here from Mad Jake. Do you know, honestly, that's the sort of thing that I've done before, right? You you set this up and you think, I'll 2D this guy and then I'll blitz this guy, right? And then like I've talked to chat and I say some bollocks, right? Say some bullshit to chat. And then in your mind, you've already made this 2D and pushed him away. So then you do the blitz. Like I, I do do things like that where I plan to do something and then something else. This is a problem here, moving this guy to make the ball safe. Oh no, he's already blitzed. Oh, it's not really a problem. Yeah, that was really bad not making that hit first. But I, un I understand how it happens. Mr. Throw makes the GFI, fails the pickup despite sure hands. Useless Mr. Throw. Oh, you definitely blitz Mr. Throw here, right? For the, uh, for the scatter. 100%. Oh, no, I don't like this at all. Oh, I really don't like that. So my play would have been, um... Oh, it's hard, actually, because this guard... Uh, so actually, this guard makes it difficult, right? Because you want to punch the guard... But he's got an assist from this guy, and then you want to you want to blitz him, but then he's got the guard protecting him. So, you know, maybe he had the same idea as me because, like, you know, if you, if you hit the thrower, he's armor eight anyway, right? He's a soft target, no block, no block and armor eight. So if you could have if you could have blitzed him, and then if he powers it right, it could go in the crowd, it could go this way or this way, and if it goes either though, and even back right, any direction you, your skinks can react, but. I guess that's what he wanted to do. I, I mean, I want to do it a lot, but yeah, this guard really does complicate things. But now we can make, now we can hit the guarder. And stuns him. Oof, stupid crocs. And does a 1D get the skull? Flip me. That does free up a player. So two free biggins to run over and help out. Both with guard. So yeah, safe moves, get them in. I would have got the other one in as well, honestly. I would have already got the other one in. 
I don't really like putting him over there. Because you're, like, you're losing this fight anyway because the crocs, right? So I would just put him over at the side. Don't activate the troll. <laughs> oh, shadowing! Oh, it failed. Oh, yeah, they've got shadowing as well, the uh, chameleon skinks, but it never does anything. <laughs> So again, being very being very patient on defense here, Dion Lord. Nothing. Choosing to leave the crocs on two guys. And you know. Man, Jake is finding himself in the same pickle he was in in the first half. In that these are just stronger than him. And he can't really get anything going. At all. And this time he's only got one reroll to help him. Oh my god. Dude, don't ever activate that troll again. <laughs> This flippin' troll all flippin' game with the flippin' dice. I mean, he wants to score, but, like, how do you do it? Like, you know, like, the Omelod's just playing off, right? Just just basically screening everything. It's it's really hard to get penetration when, you know, the, the opposing side is all strength four. It's pretty tricky, but that, that big stun on the Crocs... We'll probably see a concerted push in the blitzes on the other side. And also a stunned, a stunned Saurus as well. So we should see a concerted push. And look, Diomelo's anticipating that, running him back. Lovely move. He's, I think he's got a push down the left now, Mad Jake. Maybe he doesn't, though. Maybe he can push down the right now, actually. Maybe Diomelo is a... Uh, over pursued and maybe he can push down the right but I think he's got to pick one side and go down it his tackler could have blitz a skink right quite like the tackler so he's made a he's made a oh no it was a it was a block full to blitz but he rolled a double skull I would blitzing the skink is pretty decent and then getting forward up here but yeah he's done the push down the left Which isn't bad at all, is it? But it's also like not particularly good. Dodge these two off or Blitz back to there. Really wants to GFI him, right? But obviously knows that he can't. Gets the two dodge offs. And this dodge off. And now Mad Jake finds himself in the same situation. It's all screened off. And his team is really slow and not even strong. can pile in I guess you know these skinks aren't aren't much oh that's a very uh, very advanced ball carrier troll finally activates and <laughs> dub skulls <laughs> I'll be very sad if that troll doesn't get MVP at the end of the match. He should have stood up this tackler, shouldn't he? This was really bad turn ordering from Mad Jake. 
That was really, really bad from him. Really terrible. And there we go. Both rerolls come in to hit Mr. Throw. That was real bad ordering from him. Similar to mine versus uh, Galentio. Just, you know, inexcusable. Cheeky uphill. Very cheeky uphill, but, you know, very nice getting him on the sideline. Doesn't go for the... Oh my god, the trolls are stupid again! It's the worst troll <laughs> ever! There's a really bad uh, croc stupid as well, wasn't it? Because that frees up. Oh, wow, he's one in nine. This black orc doesn't move the... Well, sorry, big and doesn't move the big and first, right? The big and could have gone one, two, three, four, five. I would have just moved him first. You're out of rerolls. Shouldn't be out of rerolls, but you are. Should have recovered the crocs, moved him somewhere. Oh, he's blitzing him. Okay, he's blitzing with the crocs. Only just gets the push. <laughs> yeah, <I'd> try it. <laughs> Good bit of revisionist history there. Well done. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, he's got this other one to come as well. Right. Well, I like that then. And then he can trap him in between these two. Oh no. Oh no, no. You've got to push him here, right? Like, yeah, you get him closer, but it may makes it a 4-3 instead of just a 3. This is just a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, G5. This is a 3-2 to hit the ball. Whereas if you push him to there, okay, you're letting him up. But then it, they're making it a 4-3 to hit the ball. Oh, I guess he was giving him a chain. Maybe he was worried about the chain if he did that, because he could have like brought in two players, blitzed the Saurus, and then blocked a skink. And I don't know. He could just blitz them off anyway, right? Do more or less the same thing. Surely he's going for the 3 2. And he rolls a 1. <laughs> now, first action. Run towards the end zone. Make a screen. I just base. And then, end of the turn? He's not blitzing the what? What? What are you thinking about? So he could have gone five four. No, he can't. Five 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 four. <laughs> oh God! Five five four. Two to hit the ball. Or you can just hope he won in nines. Maybe what? Maybe the one in nine is better, actually. Yeah, it is, isn't it? If it was a five four to hit, I think the hit is better. But this tragically is better. It is tragic that that's better. Because you know, hoping your opponent fails in eight out of nine dodge is not where you want to be. Just pointless blocks now, right? Pretty much these can't impact the play. It's This guy could maybe. But realistically, you're just dodging. There's no it's better. And we don't know <laughs> whether he succeeded the dodge or failed the dodge and won on kicks. There is literally no way of knowing... <laughs> <laughs> whether this was a win on kicks or a uh, like a successful dodge and a score or a failed dodge and a win on kicks there's literally no way to know what has happened in this game which is a bit rubbish isn't it tbh but there you go oh, continue doesn't do anything i think he'll have made the i think he'll have made the dodge Tragically, the troll does not get MVP. And because this is round three, that means Mad Jake is out. 
bit of an unlucky draw, of course, up against Diomlod, and also an unlucky draw for Diomlod. Like, you know, two of these people would have had a, uh, you know, could have easily been in the, uh, you know, both of these guys could have easily been in the final 14. Um, so there you go, bad luck. Commiserations, Mad Jake. Congratulations, Diomlod. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.